Melvin Mendoza and Elizabeth Morelia are not yet vaccinated against COVID-19. Melvin was not able to get his shot before leaving Batangas for Manila. Bukid po kasi yun. Eh, biglaan po ang pagpunta po dito. Hindi eh, na po nagawang pabakuna doon. While Elizabeth says she still hasn't heard from her doctor. Iniisip ko kasi baka lumala yung sakit ko eh. Okay lang magpabakuna ako kung alam ng doktor ko. Melvin and Elizabeth are among the 15 million people the government hopes to tap in the three-day vaccination program next week. There will be over 12,000 vaccination sites nationwide, including malls, churches, mobile bakuna buses, fast food chains, hospitals, and schools. It's open to the unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, and those who are qualified for a booster shot or an additional dose ages 12 and up. Walk-ins are allowed and local governments are encouraged to accept residents from other places. Just present a valid ID plus medical certificate for those with comorbidity and vaccination card for booster shot. Check the schedule with your local government. Eh, magsisimulan na mas maaga. Uh, meron mga panggabi. Eh, a few will consider the bakuna nights. Government and private employees are excused from work as long as they present proof of vaccination on that day. The National Vaccination Operations Center chief reiterates, general population is not yet allowed to get a booster shot and should not take advantage of the vaccination drive to get unapproved additional doses. The government hopes to drive the vaccine coverage in every locality to 70%. For now, only Metro Manila is almost fully vaccinated. Majority has only about 30% fully immunized, with the Bangsamoro region at the bottom with only about 11% fully vaccinated. We have special focus for BARM and the other areas that are low-performing. Nagmobilize na rin ng sarili ang ating Ministry of Health ng uh, BARM para mas mapataas pa yung kanilang uh, pagbabakuna. Pero we are also focusing on high-yield areas, yung mga areas na matataas ang population. But just days ahead of the massive vaccination campaign, some local governments are facing a dilemma. Ang problema, baka naman daw walang pumunta. May mga hesitancy in some of the uh, areas. Yung iba eh, nahirapan na kumuha ng additional vaccinators at mag-open ng vaccine na sites no, because of their uh, geographic uh, location. Volunteers and health workers will continue visiting hard-to-reach areas and indigenous communities over the weekend to educate them about the safety and benefits of vaccination in hopes of convincing them to take the shot next week. Caroline Bonkin, CNN Philippines.